I would like to talk about the LSD proving and um, and uh, I, I must start by, by confessing my uh, <laughs> my druggy past and my fascination with mind-altering substances uh, and of these the undoubted um, emperor is LSD. It has the capacity to change the way in which perception uh, operates in the individual under the influence um, most profoundly and for sure the actual amount of, of drug required to have this effect is very small. We measure the dose uh, of LSD in micrograms and 250 micrograms is like top, uh, top, top amount. To take more doesn't make sense. Uh, and very often people take much less. So that's a very small quantity indeed. So its, it's power is huge. And I have uh, discovered some things, or I actually it would be truer to say I have remembered some things that I have forgotten under the influence of LSD. Some of them are deeply spiritual and, and uh, immensely profound, uh, and others are just um, horrible because they involve um, misconception, paranoia, and in which case you're discovering something that you'd rather not rediscover because it, 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 it serves no useful function um, that I can detect. Anyway, the point about the LSD proving was that it put the provers into an LSD state. It was exactly like they had all taken some micrograms of the actual substance. Only the LSD intoxication lasts approximately 12 hours and then you come down off the high. Um, and in this case, the effect lasted approximately six weeks. Of course, it was not of the same intensity as one would obtain from micrograms of substance in that in general it was possible to override the effect by an effort of focus and will. Um, but nonetheless it was amazingly trippy. So people had experiences that you would associate with tripping and once again please check the literature to get an idea of what this is because individual trips are very individual and, um, and it's remarkable uh, the way in which uh, information needs to be gleaned from many in order to get a sense of it. But the basic thrust is that the normal structures that hold your, um, your mental capacity your, for analysis, that is to say, are, are dissolved. Um, it's a bit like you're operating with one half of the brain only. And the half that you're opera operating with is the right-hand hemisphere, the one that's uh, concerned with the imaginal world rather than the concrete world of, uh, of structures. So it's the structured world that dissolves in preference to the imaginal. And this, um, there's a kind of obvious way of understanding that, which is to say the imaginal is the primary and the structure is the secondary. It's what we acquired um, to give us the name Homo sapiens, the, the, the thinking human being. So that's the side that gets uh, eroded or destroyed or, like fungus, actually um, it, it metabolized. It, it, it dissolves, it, it is rendered into goo uh, <laughs> and the imaginal rules. Totally fascinating, don't you think? And the way in which it does it, as I say, is individual. But quite often things have get bigger or smaller or uh, something that is... Uh, you know, that would normally be kind of, kind of minor, like a cloud uh, it covers the horizon. Uh, it becomes an event in the LSD mind of uh, gargantuan proportion. It, it like this would, might be the end of the world, the darkening that will that will last forever. And uh, that's that's a that's a paranoid side. Uh, of, of, of losing the structured um, aspects of the mind because you can't put things in proportion. The proportion's gone. Um, if, on the other hand, the cloud were to pass and what would be revealed is a wondrous sunny landscape, 
then you'd be in heaven, right? Because the proportion would be gone and your experience would be rather different. So this aspect of LSD is, as I say, fungus-like. I mean, it is derived from ergot on rye, which is, uh, which is uh, a species of, of, uh, of fungus. Um, what else can I tell you about LSD that was really striking? Ah, oh, yeah. There was, uh, for most of the provers, it was an interesting trip. And uh, they were surprised with what happened, and they, they, uh, they, they spoke about it in, in, wow, and you imagine this and imagine that, and then this happened and then that. And it was like telling a fantastic story with a lot of energy and actually with a lot of enjoyment. But there was one prover for whom it was a totally devastating experience, for she was somebody whose normal reality was um, to, uh, to, not, to, to experience in every moment the connection to the spirit world. For her, everything physical was a manifestation of spiritual light and joy. And what happened for her, she lost that connection for her, those six weeks, whatever. All that connection had gone. And it was a, a shocking revelation of a dark, mechanical, meaningless uh, world. And when we see this, of course, we understand the therapeutic value of the LSD remedy. Yeah, it's, it's not for the joy. We don't cure people of joy, it's absurd. You cure people of the lack of connection to that which is the potential for joy or represents the potential for all existence, actually. If you lose that connection, you're in the dark place. It's a profound remedy for people who are in this kind of spiritual darkness. So it's like the, mm, the dilemma, the energy is the dilemma between the light and the dark, between the beautiful world, which is, which is full of excitement in every moment, in this sense, childlike, innocent, the innocent world, and the dark world that constrains it, and most importantly, the transformation of one to the other, like suddenly the world of innocence collapses and the world of darkness takes over. What was beautiful becomes ugly. You know, that, that sort of situation is where LSD will gain its therapeutic laurels. Um, as you might guess, it's mostly used by practitioners who want to um, help their patients who were never well since a bad trip. And uh, mostly that doesn't work. The issue is the bad, the, 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 the bad trip has to be intrinsic in the good trip, which is the issue for this particular patient. <laughs>